signal is unique in that we barely collect any metadata. You're saying in other messaging protocols that metadata, i.e. pieces of private information about oneself, could be exposed in some way, or am I, am I thinking about this the right way? That sounds absolutely right. Just as a way to illustrate uh, this as an example, when you send a message over WhatsApp, WhatsApp still needs to know which phone number to deliver the message to. So while I may protect that hello that I've said from WhatsApp, so WhatsApp can't see what I've sent you, they still actually need to know where to send it, who to send it to, is that person connected to the internet, is their device able to receive that message? All of these things are a part of why metadata is collected by various messaging applications. But what Signal does, and that's why we have done many technical innovations, is we also manage to encrypt a lot of this metadata where we don't expose this information to the service. The reality is the reason all of those users are turning to Signal is because just end-to-end -end encryption is no longer enough. 